Welcome to another episode of Gaming and Performance. I am your host, back with another video, and this time I want to talk to you about the mouse pad that you're using on your desk right now. You need to determine if whether or not that mouse pad you're using right now is more of a speed pad or a control pad and apply some critical thinking to determine if that pad is allowing you to dominate the match because you're easily able to stay on target that moves. Even jukes left and right up and down. If it does, this video is not for you. But if you have problems, then you need to listen and watch this video to understand that you have some homework to do. One, you need to determine what kind of mouse pad you're using right now. Is your mouse pad a speed pad or is it a control pad? If it is a speed pad, then you know that that mouse pad is too fast for you. I'm pretty sure that you've tried to tweak the DPI settings already, and I'm pretty sure that you've tried to also reduce the mouse sensitivity in that game, but yet you still have issues staying on target that moves. So that means that you need to invest in a control pad. And as you can see here, they make it very simple to understand which mouse pads are more for speed, which mouse pads are in the middle, and which mouse pads are more control. I would suggest that you stay somewhere in the middle. So if you currently have a speed pad, you have difficulty staying on target that moves from left to right on the screen, then you need a more control pad. If it takes you an entire clip to take someone out because you cannot stay on target, you need to change the type of pad you have. The same goes for the fact that you may have a control pad, then you need to come to more of a speed pad and find out if that pad allows you to dominate the match. Once you find out what kind of mouse pad provides the best control for you, you can set the DPI for your mouse to 1600 and find the mouse sensitivity in game for that particular game you play and you will never need to move it again. You will never need to change it again. It will never be a thought process again because the game is operating in a sense for you that works best and you will dominate those matches. But the problem is, is that you're not gonna dominate everybody because the people that you play against already know this. Unfortunately, you don't know this, which is why I'm trying to provide this insight to you in this video. You need to step up to where everyone else is. Those people that you're playing against, they're difficult, is because they determine what kind of mouse pad works best for them. The mouse that they use, the DPI setting that they use, and the mouse sensitivity that they use in game. But most importantly, all that is a direct result of the mouse pad that they're using. And you need to know which mouse pad works best for you. You have some homework to do. A. Determine what kind of mouse pad you're using right now. Is it a control pad or a speed pad? B, is it allowing you to stay on target to take out your opponents just as fast as if that target was still? And C, make the adjustments to invest in a pad that is more suited to your game style. If you're using a speed pad right now or a lower friction pad, I use air quote when I say that, and it's difficult for you to keep your crosshair on a moving target. You need a more control pad, no matter where you buy from. You don't have to buy from here. The problem I have with other manufacturers of mouse pads is that they don't always make it clear for you what kind of mouse pad that you're buying. Here's Zowie. I'm pretty sure some of you've heard of them. They make it also clear in a different format which mouse pad is slow or control? This is their control mouse pad. This is their medium mouse pad. And this is their fast mouse pad. Again, using that low friction terminology. So if you see a mouse pad that has speed in it or low friction in it, it's going to be a faster mouse pad. And you need to determine if that is for you. Don't pay attention to all that noise about mud pads and all that stuff. If slow is what works best for you, then that is best for you. Don't fall for the hype. I'm making this video because I found it very difficult to find other YouTube videos that actually make a distinction as found here. Pads that are fast and pads that are more controlled. There's no category for that. They lump them all into one category of quality and design and usability. 
the reviewer who's reviewing these mouse pads may not have a preference for control or speed. They probably stay somewhere in the middle here. They can use all these pads the same, but that's not the case for you, which is why they might review all these pads into one category, but it doesn't help you. I fell for that. That's why I'm telling you this now. I fell for the best pad and realized that the best pad, I couldn't control my mouse cursor to stay on target. I had to use another mouse pad, which was more of a control pad so that I can stay on target. And I have dominated matches, completely and utterly dominated matches. Once I figured out that I need a more control pad, I increased my DPI from 800 to 1600 because I can, because I am more in control on my ability to stay on target that moves and increase or decrease my mouse in-game mouse sensitivity. Technically, I decreased it. I increased it at first, and I said, no, I decreased it. But I found a little bit, just a little bit more control decreasing it a bit. But I can increase if I want to because of the mouse pad that I'm using. So this is important. You need to know what works best for you so that those other gaming tweaks can complement your gaming style that will allow you to help dominate your matches. So I do thank you for your time. Have a good day.